Then we have VPNs, where a VPN, it's nothing else but a virtual network independent of the physical medium. And it's also a private network, which means it's not available for public use like the internet. So the internet is not a VPN, the internet is an, it's an open, uh, it's an open, let's say, network where everybody can speak with everybody in general. A VPN provides point-to-point -point or multi-point communication depending on the VPN type and uh, VPNs can optionally offer traffic protection which means that the data is going to be guaranteed confidentiality, integrity and authentication which is CIA. So a VPN tunnel with added security can, can, can with uh, optionally can also add security to the IP packets being sent back and forth to that VPN network and if we want to offer traffic protection which is going to mean encryption hashing and authentication then we have we have two options it's going to be either a layer 3 type of uh, protection which is we we have two uh, two sub options in there. We can make use of an IPsec tunnel, which stands for IP security, and SSL VPN tunnel. So even the name says that uh, from IPsec, the fact that I have IPsec means IP security. It means that's going to be a, a virtual private network with with protection applied at at layer three. So what what does that mean? It means that whatever is encapsulated within the layer 3 header, so the layer 4 header, layer 5, 6, 7, and also the payload, it is being protected. It's not visible in the transit network. Likewise, we have also layer 2 protection, which is going to be MacSec or Mac security. So as the name implies, Mac security, because Mac, Mac, uh, the Mac address is a layer 2 uh, RC feature. That's why this is also called to be layer 2 uh, protection. So if we speak about layer 2 protection and MACSEC, it means that uh, whatever is encapsulated within the layer 2 header is going to be protected and non vi not visible. So it means that the layer 3 header, the layer 4 header, five, six, the layer 5, 6, 7 headers, and in the end also the payload is going to be protected by this uh, feature. And we have two types of VPNs in general. We have site-to-site. -site, which means only IPsec is available from Cisco's point of view. Other vendors uh, offer site-to-site -site VPNs via SSL. And also have remote access VPNs where we can use both IPsec and SSL, uh, let's say as the uh, key management and as the uh, for negotiation and for transport protocol, it's simple. I'm gonna speak in uh, more details uh, tomorrow as well.